Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you for pronouncing my name in a perfect way. We've been living for six years in the Netherlands, I believe. Yes. I wish you good luck because I have 35 slides. 35 slides in only eight minutes. I have uh, one minute extra. So uh, good luck with it. Um, to get you into focus, I will start with a little quiz. So then we are all alive and kicking and ready for this presentation. Our project is about bringing puzzle pieces together to make machining with uh, robots uh, uh, available and happy and that everybody can use it. And for this we made a nice little gimmick that we gave to all the project partners and I have six left over here and you can win a few of them. So it's really going to be a collector's item. So I will ask you some questions and just shout the answer and when you are first then please later on come and pick it. I will not throw it at you because I'm not so good at it. So, for instance, today we are in Brussels and it's Monday, but which date is it today? Please. Oh, shit, who was the first? <laughs> um, no. Um, you're wearing orange, my favorite color. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm so happy that nobody is mentioning football, by the way. Second one is a little bit more difficult, but it's related to the 9th of July. It's a special day today. You're maybe not aware of it. On the 9th of July in 1810, this person annexed the Kingdom of Holland uh, as part of the First French Empire. I have a picture, maybe that makes it more easy. Who was this person? Napoleon. Napoleon, yes. Yes, <laughs> Italy. Yes. <laughs> okay. This is going extremely well. I was a bit nervous for this one, but it's going okay. This one is more difficult. 9th of July, 1922. This person was breaking the minute barrier by swimming. Ooh, I will, uh, I will, uh, this person, who knows? Yes, very good indeed. It was him, it was him indeed. I thank you so much that you, uh, that you know it. Johnny Weissmuller, it was. By the way, who knows where these Olympic Games were being held? No, Rome. Rome, but okay. Um, oops. That's correct. 9th of July, somebody's presenting over here. Who is this person? You. Yes, very good. Yeah, very nice. Thank you. Very good. Indeed, it is me. I'm born in the Netherlands, as you might have known. Um, before working for Delcam, the company I'm working for now, I worked in a research institute in the Netherlands called TNO. So I've been on the academic side of these projects, but now are on the industrial side. Um, um, I love several things. The first of them is, uh, is my wife. She's behind the heart, but also uh, making tiramisu. So if there are Italians amongst you who would like to share the family recipe of tiramisu, I still have three more little puzzles. I really am fond of it, so please uh, give, it, uh, give it to me and you get a little puzzle for it. So now we are a little bit awake and you know a little bit about me, what I'm doing and how old I am. Okay, now back to the subject. Factories of the future. PPP success story, and uh, yeah, that is very nice, but is it really a success? And um, yeah, I was not aware how to tell you that, so I asked somebody in the commission, he's sitting on that side, and asked him, okay, why do you think that this project is, an, is a success? And he wrote down four different items, and I will discuss them one by one, and then also automatically you will hear a little bit about our project. So the first I would like to uh, go for is a success story for our partners. That's very important, of course, because we are doing the project. What is making it a success? Of course, the technical results. And it's, yeah, I only have uh, six more minutes left. It's too complicated to explain it all in one go. So please go to our YouTube site. It's just type in comment. You can see all kinds of nice movies. Or follow us on Twitter go to Facebook, go to our website, or maybe pick one of our newsletters. When you go to the EFRA stand, by the way, they do very good work. If you're not a member, become a member. But on the EFRA stand, you find six newsletters of us, and you can grab them. You can also register, and then every three months, you will get uh, a newsletter. We think dissemination is important. We are using public money. Our project is using 5.3 million euros. And I think uh, we owe the general public, who is paying all these taxes, who can pay us to do this work, we owe them something, so that's why we put a high emphasis on dissemination. The second one, a success story for the Commission. High industrial participation, SME, and a good collaboration with the Commission. Um, we have industrial and SME partners and a project officer, and on his first uh, attendance to a GA, we had a snowball fight, and he ended up with a blue eye. 
Maybe uh, you remember it. His wife was uh, saying, ooh, are you seriously working when you are away for the Comet project? Yes, he was, but the snowball fight. Now, I'm, I'm just kidding a bit. We are very happy with the cooperation, always, with all the project officers. They are there to help you, not to make your life more miserable. So uh, we are very pleased with this cooperation. It's managed to become a success story because of clear ideas, good management and realistic ambitions. Very short on the, on the good management. I'm the coordinator and I have a perfect... <laughs> Oh, that sounds a bit weird, but I have a perfect uh, management board. We are well experienced, and I am very happy that during my time at TNO and also at uh, Delcam, that I was making many mistakes in all kinds of other projects. I was coordinator of three other projects. I was uh, uh, an M partner in uh, three others, one of them Fastool. I did with Ricardo, by the way. And uh, yeah, you learn a lot, and every time when you do a new project, when you write a new proposal, it's getting better. More important, the clear ideas from the start. You are all here to maybe write new proposals and to uh, submit new proposals. But the, the, the main thing is that your idea should be excellent and then you will be successful, no doubt about it. Um, how are we doing that? Normally I'm using the golden circle. Maybe some of you know it. It is uh, created, invented by Simon Sinek. He wrote a whole book about it, about the golden circle. A lot of partners and a lot of projects are starting with the what question. I want to machine with robots. And then how? I'm going to do this and this and this. And then think, oh shit, I have to write also the why in the first chapter of the proposal. Why am I going to do this? We always start vice versa. We first think about why, what is the purpose, and then the how, and then how are we going to do it. So I can advise you, follow this a little bit. And then your proposal writing will be much easier and also the reviewers will like it much better. And it gives you also a much better feeling. Every partner in Comet has a different answer to the, to the how question, uh, to the why question. Uh, this is the one for Delcam. And I'm, I'm sp uh, speaking uh, on behalf of Delcam. We are selling software for uh, CAT CAM uh, technologies and we are doing quite well. But if we are standing still and not uh, improving, then we will be run over by colleagues from Siemens or Simatron or anybody else. That's what we don't like. So we try to improve and improve. The, the turtle is maybe not correct. It shows that we are very slow. So that's, I also have a picture with our spider in it. And that is more uh, stated towards what we are uh, doing. Then the second question is uh, how? How are we doing it? I'm always using the five C's. The first of them is the commercial exploitation. You can do a very nice project, but when you don't have partners in the consortium who can exploit the end results, it can be nice, but it will be less nice. And when you have partners in your consortium who are really triggered to uh, exploit the end results, then it's much better. I was very lucky to find in this PPP days, two years ago, Martin Hegler from IPA, and he was uh, very enthusiastic about their high dynamic compensation mechanism, and together with, uh, with IPA, we started this project. Later on, we had artists involved and Nikon. So the four core technologies, they all will be exploited so that at the end of our project, uh, it can be uh, used in industry and not somewhere collecting dust on a shelf in a nice report. Communication, be clear in communication, especially as coordinator. Don't try to communicate with all your uh, 17 partners. Use your management board members, your work package leaders. Talk to your management board members a lot. We do that every two weeks. And also our work package leaders are talking every two weeks with their partners in the work package. Make that very clear and then everything will go very smoothly. The content, don't invite partners because you think, ah, oh, the guys from TNO or for Delcam are nice. Only look for partners when they really can add value. That's also how we started with the four of us. We had a lot of know-how, but not everything. And then we were looking for this partner can do this, this partner can do that. That's also how we invited those partners. Please be welcome, but only if you're going to do this. Uh, control, it sounds like a bit of a dictatorship, that's not correct, but we have a planning and we have people spending efforts, and please check that every time. We check that every three months. Every three months people have to provide an, uh, a report, including how much money they have spent, and then we do an extra payment, but that keeps people awake and sharp. Community money, I already said it, we are spending 5.3 million euros and every time when you're spending money, be aware that somebody, maybe living over here, has been, uh, spend, has been paying taxes and we are spending tax money. Not our own money, it's tax money, so use it please in a proper way. Last question is uh, uh, what we are doing. Um, 
we have a project of only 30 months. People said, you are met. Yes, that's correct. And uh, what we want to do in the end, we want to have seven demonstration cells up and running and uh, machining with high accuracy between 500 and uh, one-tenth of a millimeter. Currently, a, a, a robot, when you want to machine with it, you can be very happy with five-tenths of a millimeter. So we're really making a step change in, uh, in this project. So uh, we are ending in February next year. And then uh, you should see everywhere this kind of robot. You can also visit them and can see uh, uh, what we have been doing with the public money. Okay, I was uh, addressing you four points. I left one out, and that is the, the upper one. The key issues of the fourth PPP, that we are addressing them. Yes, we are addressing them. When you know the, the booklet with all the words, yes, we are hitting all the words. Check, tick the boxes. Also, when you're specifically uh, looking at... Um, at the FOF uh, parts, yes, that's all what we are doing. But foremost, we are using the added value. We have a wealth of information, and it was already said this morning, uh, with a lot of know-how over here, we really can make a change. As a company, all by ourselves, we could not make that change. But with all these partners involved, we can make it happen that we can machine with robots in uh, only 30 months. Moreover, you should also enjoy it. It is really fun to coordinate a project like this and also to work together with people from all over Europe. Uh, I was a stupid Dutchman and I was not aware why I could not phone somebody in Spain at 12 o'clock because of this siesta. But after having been in Spain for the first time in my life, it was uh, nine years ago, I could understand why they were not working. It's just too hot. Those simple things, you learn it from this kind of projects. So learn from each other. Also, these uh, two days that we are here, enjoy it. And uh, remind uh, one thing after addressing all these four uh, issues. Uh, for us, it's not a question mark anymore whether it's a success story. It's, an, uh, it's, an, uh, uh, it's, it's really true. It's becoming a life. And uh, knowledge is the power, but enthusiasm pulls the switch. Thanks to all these people in my project, I'm able to stand over here and to talk to you. Thank you very much. Well, the, the time was more or less eight minutes, more or less. <laughs> but uh, I would like to thank you for your enthusiasm and also for uh, passing uh, these messages, these important messages in, a, in such a skillful way. Thank you. Uh, are there any quick questions for the speaker? Okay, so then uh, I think we will uh, continue with the next presentation because we, we are uh, more or less... Uh, uh, around the time <laughs> and the next presentation is from a project called CAP uh, and uh, uh, it will be uh, made by Luis Usatorre from Tecnalia <laughs>